Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. I'm She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video I'll be stuffing my side income and my birthday money. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. I do hope you enjoy the video so much so that you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. So we are back for another side income stuffing. This is a new feature on the channel. I usually take you through my personal budget and we stuff my sinking funds but I have decided to add this new addition to the channel wherein I show you the income that I've made from my other streams such as my Etsy shop, my private tuition and any other freelance kind of work that I do. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it guys and I've seen that there has been a lot of feedback from the other one. So yeah, I think we'll continue to do this one for a while. So the first thing I wanna tell you is that we've had an amazing week in the shop. It has been so busy. Finally managed to get through the December orders last week which is crazy guys I'm just so so grateful a lot of you I know who watch this channel do support the shop it's unreal how much support I've received since I've opened the shop I am ever so grateful and as you can see my income from the shop after I've paid for materials taxes all of that stuff I was left with £348.61. Now that is only for the week, guys. So you can imagine, I think my sales actually reached for the week just under £400. And yeah, I'm just so grateful. I can't believe it. Such a shock. I think that has been the most amount of money that I've made in a week on Etsy. So as I said, I'm ever so grateful. And I think it's only right that I show you what your support allows me to do. The next income that I am going to be looking at today is my income from my birthday. Now, obviously, it isn't an income source. Nobody expects to get money on their birthday. Well, I don't anyway. But my lovely children have been saving. Even my youngest child was saving her pocket money that she receives from her grandmother. And she actually saved that for... I'm not sure, it must have been about three months, guys, where she hasn't obviously spent it and she gave that to me as a present. And I think they all collectively came together because they knew mummy wanted to save up for this camera to allow her to film her videos. So in terms of birthday money that I received, I also received a total of 290 pounds. And being on a debt-free journey, you know that I'm gonna make use of that money. I'm gonna obviously put it to good use. I'm not gonna go and spend it fruitlessly. So I've decided to add it to this income for this week. Okay, so in total for the week, we are looking at 348, 61, add to 90, which is 638 pounds, 61. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my fixed expenses. If you are a regular subscriber, you know that I stuff my sinking fund envelopes on a weekly basis from my personal budget. So we've already stuffed these envelopes, but I am going to put an additional amount, as you can see, a large additional amount into my personal sinking fund. Now, I've been saying this for a while on this channel that I've been saving up the money in my personal fund to purchase a camera. And things have changed, guys. So. I had a lot of feedback from you all last week, which was amazing. I looked up the cameras that you all suggested, and as you can see, I realized that I did have enough money, or I would have enough money to purchase one. But when it came to the crunch, I realized that in my heart of hearts, I couldn't pay that amount of money on a camera as yet, especially as there are other things that are going on at the moment. Now you've already seen how busy the shop was last week. And if you've not watched it yet, I have a video on where I showed you my office tour. So my studio tour, where I work, where I fulfill orders. I'll link it in the screen just here. I have one computer. It's the MacBook that I purchased when I started university. And it's about 10 years old, maybe a little bit older than that guys. Well, I found out that the Bluetooth feature is so old that I'm not able to connect the new cutter that, again, I've been saving for to it. So with that in mind, I realized I needed to update my system. And it just so happens that the iMac, which is a desktop computer, 
will be able to do all the features that I need and I have just enough money to purchase that. So we switched gears and I've gone to upgrade my computer that I currently have and I'll continue to film off of the iPhone that I'm currently using at the moment. I think what I may do if I have money left over is purchase some new lighting because I think that has been an issue in some of my videos. But other than that, we are not gonna get the camera for now. And it's just mad, isn't it? I think sometimes we save up for these things or we think we need something and then when it comes to the crunch, we kind of weigh up the options and I realize it is a lot of money to spend on an item knowing that there are other things that I need to buy that are a bit more important at the moment. So we've decided to go for the iMac instead. With that in mind, I've decided to put 320 pounds into my personal sinking fund this week. That is the only sinking fund that I'm going to stuff. So that's 320. And then over here in terms of fixed expenses. So as you know, I'm going to be returning some money back to Etsy. This is for the cutter machine that I've told you about. We need 330 pounds for that. So this 135 would enable me to purchase that machine as well. The 320 to go towards my computer and then we should have 170 pounds going towards debt as well guys i can't get over how good this week is it's amazing to see that i'm able to buy two machines that i desperately need for the shop as well as pay a massive amount of money towards debt so yeah i'm i hope you can tell i'm a really happy girl doing this video this week okay then the last expense that i have is my savings challenge expense and I'm going to put 10 pounds into my 52 week challenge. And I think I was meant to put 77 pence into my penny challenge. But again, I had some money left over because I'm trying to make this a zero based budget. So I'm just gonna put the remainder in terms of change from this income into that penny challenge. So we are looking at 1361 altogether. And the total for this will be Six three eight sixty one. So as you can see, it is exactly what we have coming in. Okay, so my income is six three eight point six one minus my outgoings, which is six three eight point six one, which will leave us with zero. So yeah, that is our zero base budget for our side income this week. Okay, so I've already been to the bank, taken out the additional money that I needed from my Etsy account and added it to my birthday money. I have my two binders here. We are only going to be stuffing the envelopes in this binder, which is like my side income binder. I think we're just gonna call it that, guys. And I need my personal envelope from this one. So I only need my personal sinking fund envelope for this one. Okay, and that can go here. So here I have my personal sinking fund, Etsy, 52 week challenge, my emergency fund and my debt snowball envelope. Those are the only envelopes that I'm going to be stuffing this week. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over to one side here. I also need my penny jar, which I'll be stuffing in a second for my penny challenge. So that can go there. I'm just gonna lay out my money. I'm gonna leave my change here, guys. I don't need that until I do my penny challenge. And I'm gonna lay out my notes. So I've got three fifties. They can go here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I've got 23 20s. I can go here. I've got two 10s and a five. Okay, so the first envelope that I'm going to stuff is my personal sinking fund. And we are adding to this envelope 320. And I'm gonna take that all in 20s so we are going to need we're going to need 16 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i think that was correct i'm just gonna double check
Yep, that's correct. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that to what we have here and we're gonna do our count. So we've got 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 710, 720, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 990, which is exactly what we need for the computer. So although I'm putting this back into my envelope, guys, I probably will take this straight to the bank so that I can purchase my computer. So yeah, this is the temporary stuff. I'll put this back into my binder for the remainder of the video. 990 guys. I can't believe I managed to save that up and I think that took me in total, what, three months? I'm not sure, I'll get you the right stats on the screen here, but I think I started saving or putting money to one side for my birthday in October, but I'll correct you if I'm wrong. Next we have my Etsy envelope, and for this envelope I'm going to be adding 135. So I'm going to do 20s again. So. Okay, so we've got one, three, five added here. So we'll put them in the right order. Okay, so let's do a quick count. So we've got 50, 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 325, 330. So 330 pounds in here. Again, this is another temporary stuff because I'll be taking this to the bank as well and purchasing my new cutting machine, which I desperately need, guys. I'm really worried because I think the computer may take me a couple of weeks to actually get, I may get the cutter before the computer and I won't be able to use it. I'm hoping that they come at around about the same time. So I'm just gonna go straight to the bank and put this money into the bank so I can purchase it. Next, I'm going to do my 52 week challenge and my penny challenge envelope. So we had five pounds in here from last week and we're on our second square. So I'm going to be adding 10 pounds this week. So I'm just gonna add 10 pounds to my envelope and I can rub out the 10 here. It's all done. Put that back here. So we've got 10, 15 pounds for our 52 week challenge, which is great. Slowly but surely this one will pile up soon as well, guys. It's just a patience thing, I think. <laughs> And then we have my Pelly Challenge card and the change that we have left over is £3.61. So £3.61 I have. So I'm going to colour in the next seven squares, which as I said, it should be 77 pence. So we've got £3.61 minus 0 0.77, which is £2.84. So I can colour in the £2.84 square as well. So 2.84, where is that? That is over here. So I can colour it in. Okay, so yeah. So in total, that is 361. So here is my jar and I'm just gonna put the money in here. So let's start with the pound coin. So we've got one, two, three, 50, 60, one. Okay, so we've got nine pounds and nine pence. 
I love this so much. I don't even have to count it every week, guys. So I've got 9.09 in here already, and it's only week two. Guys, if you're doing this at the same time as I'm doing it, then I really do apologize because so far I've actually gone over or put into my jar more than is required for the second time since I've started it. But do just put in what you need. You don't have to do the amounts that I'm putting in. Each week will probably be different for me, but as long as I'm sticking to the main kind of like rules of the game, I don't mind adding in a few extra squares if I have the change to do so. When I fill in the whole card, I should have £667.95. But yeah, if I keep putting in money into it, this will probably happen a lot sooner than, you know, the 365 days that it gives you. So yeah, try and do more if you can, but don't feel pressured because I'm doing it to do more. Okay, so those are my challenges done for the week. And then we're on to my emergency fund. Emergency fund, we are not stuffing. So in here, we currently have got 50, 100, 50, 60, 70, 85. So we've got 185 in there. And then Debt Snowball is going to get the last bit. So we're going to add 170 pounds which is what we have left over to this envelope so we have got we've now got let's do a quick count so we've got 50 100 50 200 50 300 20 40 60 70 85 385 guys i think i can actually pay off one of my debts with this can you believe it i think i can actually pay off a whole debt this month and we've only done week two. Oh my gosh i'm so excited okay let's just calm down shall we okay so yeah i'm gonna put this back into my debt snowball envelope and yeah that's all done okay guys so that is all for now I am so, so, so happy. This has been an amazing week, an amazing side income stuffing video. So I've managed to save up now enough money to buy myself a new computer. I know it's mainly for the business, but you know, it still makes me happy um, doing that. It isn't really a personal kind of like gift, but I kind of see it as the same thing. And I have managed to purchase another cutting machine for the business. Again, this is to help it grow because we are super, super busy at the moment. And I'm just so happy to be able to reinvest money back into the business to help it become even bigger than it is. And yeah, we've managed to add another 170 pounds towards debt. I will be doing a debt progress video at the end of the month where I show you exactly how much money I've managed to save for debt and we can kind of do a little celebration. So stay tuned guys, it's gonna be an interesting year. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're kept up to date with all of my latest videos and I'll speak to you in the next one. Have a good day.